Hello everybody, Dress Production here and welcome back to another Diablo 3 build video and today I will be talking about the new Raker Bar for the patch 2.4 uh, This build is very good for greater rifting and it's also very good for Torment 10 rift clearing uh, Solo and for four par uh, four group, yeah, in a group, you know uh, So yeah, we're, I'm gonna be talking about the skills, the gear, can I cube uh, the Paragons, uh, how you want to use this build, because this is a build that requires uh, a lot of practice, uh, what's it called, what's it called? Uh, practice, okay, there we go, <laughs> I can't find a word for it, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, I will also be covering, um, uh, yeah, everything about the gear, the set bonuses, uh, when, yeah, how you want to use this build and a couple of, uh, wait, a trick that is called force moving as well that makes you get um, almost about triple the amount of damage because uh, it gives you triple attack speed which makes triple damage, okay? Um, okay, so first of all the skills. Fair charge, merciless assault. Uh, I won't be covering the skill why uh, the, why you have the, the, pass, uh, the passes and stuff so much, but uh, yeah. You will just have you want to use that fury shots, merciless assault, ancient spear, boulder toss, battle rage, bloodshed, sprint, marathon, call the ancients together as one, wrath of berserker, insanity, for passive rampage, bloodthirst, berserker rage, nerves of steel. Um, so yeah, merciless assault. Uh, wait, fury shot is your main damage dealer. As soon as you hit uh, uh, five mobs, uh, you will get. Uh, a research back. Um, well, uh, yeah, when you hit five mobs, you will get a research back. That's why you have this rune on. Uh, our set bonuses though gives us uh, every rune, which is increased damage against. Uh, f uh, yeah, increase the damage of fury shard. Uh, stamina generate additional fury for each hit. Uh, for each hit with while charging. Call uh, all enemies hit are frozen. Uh, store up three charges. So those are the runes that you, you will get from the set bonuses on the gear. Angel Spear, uh, this is our Fury Dump uh, and it gives both. It, it gives us life back since you want to have life per fury spent uh, on your gear. And you also have that as a passive, life per fury spent over here. It gives you a lot of life when you dump all this fury. Um, yeah, it says 25 plus all remaining fury. So all your fury will be gone when you use this. It gives you life back and it gives you cooldown reduction on Wrath of the Circuit, which is very, very, very necessary for this build to work as it does. Uh, Battle Rage Bloodshed gives you a little damage uh, buff um, uh, by 10% increased damage and crit has by 3% for 120. Wait. Enter a rage that will increase your damage by 10% and critical hit chance by 3%. Okay. Uh, just a little damage buff, really, it's kind of what I always tab out, I hate that. Um, you want to have Sprint Marathon uh, for a Canis Cube uh, weapon. Uh, the weapon in Canis Cube you want to have is Standoff, which makes so your bonus, uh, for, uh, for the bonus movement speed you have, you will deal up to 250% more damage, which is very good. So you want to have this uh, uh, skill. Guess, yeah, when you have this active, you will deal a lot more damage. Cultation together as one. Um, pretty much gives you damage reduction by 50%. Wrath of the Circuit, Insanity. A, just a very, very big bonus. Uh, wait, a big buff, okay? This, as you say, crit chance 10%, attack speed 25%, dodge 20%, movement speed 20%. And while it's active as well, you gain 50% increased damage. 50% increased damage. That's a lot of damage, okay? Uh, for the past this rampage gives you more damage brothers it gives you life berserk rage more damage when you are near maximum fury since you will almost every all the time be near uh, maximum fury except for when you use the ancient spear but since you're using fury shard uh, you will generate fury very quickly and you will get that fury back on top and you will start dealing 25 percent increased damage again okay nerves of steel uh just a fake death in case you die you are not actually dying okay very, so yeah, you want to have all these, you do not try and compromise and f try and do other skills because these are the skills you want to have, okay? I mean the gear, sorry. <laughs> you want to have Immortal King's Boulder Breaker. You want to have Restraint and Focus Rings. 
because of that 50% increased damage. You want to have Immortal King's Irons. Um, you want to have Raker's Burden, uh, the Immortal King's Triumph, uh, well, the Helm, Raker uh, Body, the Raker Belt, I mean, Immortal King's Belt, Immortal King's Leggings. You want to have the Raker Boots. You want to have the Ancient Parthen Defenders because each stunned enemy within 25 yards reduces your damage taken by 9 to 12 percent. Okay, this is very, very necessary for high grade rifts um, because when there are a lot of mobs around you and you start stunning them, you will boom instantly start to, yeah, take um, about 11 percent reduced damage. Okay, for every stunned enemy, so you can stack this up, I think, uh, how much you want actually. Uh, so depending on how, how many monsters around you, the more damage reduction, wait, the more redu the more damage, the, l the less damage you take, the more dam uh, the more mobs you have around you, okay? Uh, so when you're doing these high grade rifts, make sure you all the time have a lot of mobs around you. And when I mean a lot of mobs, I mean a lot of mobs. You can probably see that on a great rift demonstration video somewhere on the screen that, um, I'm trying, always trying to find a group of mobs, and when the group uh, of mob, when the mob pack gets uh, too low, I start to find another group of mobs, and then yeah, just keep stunning them, and yeah, that's the way you move on. Uh, you want to have the necklace uh, Mara's kaleidoscope. What this does is that you're immune to poison damage, and as soon as you step in that poison, you will heal yourself for 30% of the amount prevented. So, um, yeah, this is very uh, nice. Um, you definitely want to have that because poison is, I think, is the baddest FX to this build uh, because you're always you're always in that um, group of mobs, and as soon as like an elite or a champ pack just throws some poison on you, you kind of almost always instantly die because the poison, yeah, it kills you, and this necklace makes so poison doesn't kill you anymore so it's very necessary uh, also for the the grift uh, bosses like um, Verocity we have uh, buh, 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 what's it called that guy that pops up green areas things I don't know what it's called but yeah uh, there are a bunch of uh, one shotting bosses that you, you're, you will be afraid of pretty much the f I think the w number one boss that uh, you're up against is the Binder uh, and Verocity actually because they all are poison damage and they don't kill uh, but, but I think the Binder has one melee but it doesn't one shot you if you have uh, good stats okay right now I have Immortal Kings with attack speed on it I do not want attack speed you want vitality, strength, crit times and crit chance those are the ideal stats for the gloves, and I don't have that, which makes me pretty, pretty much um, non-lethal. I will get one shot much quicker. Uh, I mean, not much quicker, but I will get one shot by uh, uh, rift bosses. So you want to have vitality on that, and try and get um, as many ancients as possible, because the more ancients, the better stats. Logic, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, those are the items, uh, the, uh, the ideal stats for the items is uh, as for your immortal kings, you want to have damage, strength, vitality, and a socket of course, uh, restraint, uh, focus jam, you want to have strength, uh, crit damage and crit chance, for the gloves you want to have attack, oh wait, as I said, <laughs> strength, vitality, crit damage and crit chance, for your Raker's Burden, you want to have Strength, Vitality, All Assist, Fury Charge, or uh, Area Damage. Um, I've seen people using Area Damage, but I find Fury Charge Damage is better because you will deal more damage with the Fury Charge and not with an Area. Uh, area Damage is good for killing off uh, packs of mobs a lot quicker. Uh, but I don't know why I'm not using that. I'm still not getting used to the area damage stats, so that's why I'm using Fury Shot. But you could go with the area damage if you, if you feel like it. Um, for the helmet, you want to have strength, vitality, and crit chance. Uh, for the chest, strength, vitality, fear Shot damage. Belt, strength, vitality, all resist, and, and life per fury spent. 
This makes so you get an additional amount of life uh, back as soon as you dump your ancient spear. So yeah, a bunch of more life and it's kind of a lot of life actually. So you have 1200 life here and on our passive we have 966, almost a thousand. So it's almost like somewhere around 2200. And if you multiply that by um, 13, you will know how much life you will receive just by having these two uh, stats. So you definitely have that um, life receiver spent on there. Mole King's uh, structure, you wanna have strength, vitality, all resist. It, uh, the reason why I have, I mean, the way you could have all resist on your primary stat is that if you do not have it on your secondary stat. So right now, as you can see, I do not have, uh, as you see, uh, wait, over here, on my boost, you see I have arcane resistance on my secondary, which means I cannot get resist all on my primary. Uh, so if you have it like that, uh, you can go with armor instead of uh, all resist, okay? Uh, for the boots, strength, vitality, armor, oh wait, strength, vitality, all resist, movement speed. That's the one you want to have. Uh, the reason why you can see that I have an additional stat like strength, I have strength here and I have strength here. is because there's a new feature out on the Can Ice Cube that when you, you can use three flawless uh, royal gems and a up to yeah a, a certain uh, leveled gem legendary gem i've chosen a 63 and when you use that you can you will receive strength or additional strength so it's just a bunch of more strength pretty much uh on yeah on your gear so you want to have strength for your augmenting augmenting that's what it's called uh for the necklace you want to have strength crit damage and crit chance uh, oh no, 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 wait, you would not, uh, you want to have physical damage, crit damage and crit chance because physical damage is better, it gives you more damage, uh, strength just gave you dodge, I think, uh, it gives you, yeah, it gives you both uh, toughness and damage, but you want to have physical crit damage and crit chance, okay, uh, for the braces, you want to have physical, uh, physical damage, strength, vitality and crit chance, and yeah, it's the same as I said on the focus, strength, crit times and crit chance. So those are the ideal stats. Um, as I said, try and get as many ancients as possible because the more ancients you have, the, the further you can go on the great rifting because you will get that extra vitality. You won't get one shotted. Uh, and yeah, since I don't have that on my attack speed, I cannot do some bosses as good, I, I mean, as efficient as other can, because others can, okay? So definitely get that vitality up on your gloves. It's very important, especially on your gloves. You can get a thousand vitality. Just imagine a thousand here. Uh, it's just a bunch more vitality. Right now I'm on 708 life. Some people are at like a million or more because they have just very good stats. They're very optimized to gear. So yeah, you wanna have that. Paragon levels, you wanna have uh, maxed up movement speed. You want to have uh, split it up, strength and vitality. If you feel uh, still, if you still squ ah, feel squishy, you could go more on vitality to get more resistance. But I'm splitting it up, so both damage and vitality. Offense, you want to have crit chance, crit damage, attack speed, then cooldown reduction. Um, you want to have at least, yeah, as much as I'm showing you here, 8.60 cooldown reduction, because as you said, uh, this. Uh, rune on the fear shot what this does is that when you hit at least five mobs you have to hit at least five mobs to get a recharge back well with 20 percent cooldown reduction you only need to hit four mobs which uh, kind of gives you more damage options uh, st i mean strategic strategically options you pretty much deal yeah you want to have 20 at least 20 percent uh cooldown reduction and that's why you want to have a cooldown reduction gem on your helmet as you can see here, I have 20, almost uh, exactly 20% cooldown reduction, which means I only need to hit four mobs instead of five mobs to get a recharge. This is, yeah, it's very good. Trust me, it's very good. You want to have that. Um, so yeah, definitely get a uh, cooldown reduction. F uh, you can actually get that first if you'd like, if you have a lot of powering levels, but if you're on low on powering levels, you could try with crit chance, crit damage, then cooldown reduction, then attack speed, okay? 
Defense. Uh, you want to have resist all armor, life, and life regen. And utility, you want to go for area damage, life on hit, uh, gold, fine, and resource cost reduction. Because you're not using any resource costing things, it doesn't really matter if you have resource cost reduction. Okay. Let's have bonuses. Uh, we have over here on the ray core. You want to have the fourth. You want to have to the fourth set, and the reason why we could actually achieve the fourth set with only three gears. I mean, four, three pieces of gear, is because we have the ring of old grandeur in our canice cube. So you can see here, ring of old grandeur. Uh, yeah. Let me go over those canice cube later. Uh, so the uh, first set. I mean, the second set. Fury charge refunds a charge if it hits only one enemy. So. When you're, it's uh, it is coming in handy on the bosses. So whenever you hit it once with your fury charge, you will get instantly a recharge on your fury charge. So it's very good. Um, fourth set, uh, fury charge gains the effect of every rune, and deals three hundred percent increased damage. So yeah, that's the reason why we can stun and do stuff, uh, and that will proc on our ancient partner defender. So the more mobs around you getting stunned, the more damage reduction you have. So it's very, very needed to have that fourth set um, to get the, all those runes on the Fury Charge, okay? Uh, for the Immortal Kings, you wanna have all the set bonuses, and that is the, as the second set says, Cult Angels last until they die. Very good. Um, to get that, always have that 50% increased, uh, wait, 50% cool, uh, damage reduction as on your passive. Uh, fourth set, reduce the cooldown of Wrath of Berserker and Call of Dangers by 3 seconds for every 10 fury you spend with an attack. So, that's why we have, uh, I also have Ancient Spear, Boulder Toss. So, we have 130 fury here. Uh, as soon as I throw this, um, I will get about, I think it was about 69, uh, 69 seconds cooldown reduction on the Wrath of Berserker. So, Actually, uh, when you're at a maximum fury and your Wrath of Berserk is on cooldown, you can just pop up an Ancient Spear and it will get um, cooldown reduction, okay? Uh, Reducated, I think. it's That's a proper word for it, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we? There we go. Uh, and a sex set. While both Wrath of the Circuit and Cult Ancient is active, you deal 25% increased damage. So it's very important if you die to pop up Cult Ancients. You do not skip Call of the Ancients. You always have to have this on to have that 250% increased damage, okay? That is a lot of damage. For the Canine's Cube, weapon, standoff, um, this one, yeah, it's, that's why you're using Marathon skill. Because um, when as soon as you pop this up, you will start dealing additional damage uh, equal to 250% of a bonus movement speed. Um, I don't know how much bonus damage that is exactly, but yeah. Uh, armor, Vile Ward. For sh uh, Fury Charge deals 35% increased damage for every enemy hit while charge. So you want to have Vile Ward because it gives you a bunch of more damage, okay? Uh, so definitely try and get that from can uh, from uh, Kadala as soon as you have done spending blood shards on your gear pieces. Uh, then yes, you can go try and get the ancient Parthan, then file ward, and then you wanna have uh, ring of all grandeur on your uh, jewelry slot in Canines Cube. So those are the Canines. How you wanna use this build is uh, kind of hard, I would say. Um, it's very easy on the Torment 10, but when you're doing high grade rifts such as 80s, I've actually never reached 80 because since I have the freaking attack speed on my gloves, I get very squishy, squishy and I can't clear bosses that quick because they're always one-shotting me, okay? But when you have Vitality on there, you won't, won't have a problem uh, with that. And that's, that's the same thing with the freaking, with, with the ancient items, you get more Vitality. So that's one yet why you wanna have oh wait what the hell is happening? That's why you wanna have uh, uh what's it called uh white gems in your wall gear over here to get that all resistance and uh, you could actually go with a vitality gem if you feel like uh, I don't wanna have that I don't know why and you wanna have a full, of course a crit gem over here but the way you wanna use this build um it's kind of hard but it's it, with practice you will get you will pretty much master anything.
generally practice gives you um, it yeah, gives you results, right? Mm. So as soon as you go into a rift, you pop up Wrath of Berserker and Cult the Ancient to get that 250% increased damage. Um, and then you are still at non-fury. As soon as you start hitting mouse with your fury charge, you will gain fury and then you just will pop up ball rage and sprint. So sprint is, some, is th this is the skill, uh, wait, sprint and Wrath of Berserker is something you want to have on all the time because yeah, you will gain a bunch more damage when you have those on. So if you don't have them on, you will not have as much damage. Um, to get the Wrath of Berserker uh, when it's on cooldown, as I said, pop off Ancient Spear if you have full fury, uh, then it will be uh, viable for activation again. So. Yeah, let's, let me show you a little demonstration on a solo torment 10 rift. Right now, this will look very, very easily, but um, it it, it kind of is almost kind of the same when doing a four party uh, rift clear. Okay, so yeah, okay, you see, it saw me there. Now I have all the skills activated. Okay, so let me show you something uh, that you probably are wondering how I'm doing this, but. When, when you're doing this, you're, th that's the way you pr it probably looks like when you're doing this. You're pretty much just charging, clicking, 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 trying to get um, to do as much as possible. But you see, you're not really doing as much damage now when you're only clicking. There is a tactic, I mean a little kind of sneaky strategy what that you can do. And what it does is that when you are... Oh well, it's, it's something called force moving, okay? So this is how it looks like. Wait, let me get this on. There we go. So you always have to have that marathon on and the burst circulation and you see boom, that elite just died in like less than two seconds. Uh, so yeah, there is, as you see, I'm clicking a lot faster than I'm doing normally. This is normal, this is force moving. What it does that it kind of skips a little animation part in your fury charge. So you can pretty much activate another fear charge at the end of the animation so you get pretty much more attack speed by doing force moving okay the way you activate force move the way you use force move is either way with some kind of spamming key i'm using my scroll bottom um as you can see on, if you go on option and you go on key binding and you scroll down a little bit there's something called force move right here uh i bound it so when I do wheel up, wait, wheel up and wheel down, either way it works for the first move. So uh, you definitely want to get force move. If you don't have force move, you will not do as much damage as you could actually. I've seen a lot of people using, the, I've actually seen a lot of people using the Raker bar, but the ones I've seen are not using it the right way with the, fear, uh, with the force moving thing, which makes them not deal as much damage as I can do, okay? I hate these freaking... Can these guys pop up? Those elites, there we go. There's another one there. So yeah. Always have Berserker Rage on. As you can see, I'm gonna show you. See, I'm Maximum Fury now, and this Wrath of Berserker is on cooldown. This is a pop it off. Boom! It's almost at no cooldown anymore, okay? And I can just pop it up again, get that 250% increased damage. Wait, why can't I do anything? There we go. Boom. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, rift clearing is not that hard, but r great rift clearing to get those legendary gems upgraded is kind of hard. Uh, but if you really like this build and you want to go for it, you should go for it because this great uh, this build is like capable of doing very high grade rift. Uh, you kind of have to fish for the right b um, uh, great rift, but not that much because. This build has some, a lot of mobility, so if you get a kind of a bad density map, because you want to have as good density maps as possible, and if you get a bad density one, you could just skip with your fear charge, because you get recharge, and then you get that... Yeah, you can pretty much just skip a lot of maps and a lot of places with just this... Uh, uh, with this skill, so yeah. You want to have... you want to have that. Nice, amazing. Oh, wait. What did I just see? Did I just see two freaking... The fuck? I think I just saw two of the... Wait, isn't there a champ pack over here? There we go. 
I hate these guys. They're always hiding. See, that guy died instantly. Um, so, yeah, you wanna use your fear shots very carefully. Uh, you always have to make sure you at least hit one or four mobs. But when you have three charges, it doesn't really matter if you hit like two or three. Because you still have like two charges left and then it's almost kind of dead already. So it doesn't really matter. But sometimes it matters on Great Rift because when you don't have fear shards up. If, you, if it's on cooldown, if you haven't success with the right connections with it. You will die if you're standing in the middle of everything and you cannot fail with it. Because you won't get that stun. Your ancient part on defense will not work. And then you will, boom, get one-shotted, okay? So always have that uh, failure shard active. Do not spend unnecessary time on like two uh, like two elites or something. Uh, look at this, like, I can take that guy out, I can take that guy out, and you see, I'm a cooldown. I can't do anything. That's why when I, I'm, I'm supposed to skip, okay? Do that in Great Rift. And why did my friend Charlie just join me? <laughs> okay. He's, uh, he, I'm kind of trying to gear him up with the same build. So we're having some fun. So now I'm pretty much doing a... I think uh, he has to join. Has to join so I can get... Uh, so the difficulty counts. But you see, I'm still one-shotting this freaking rift, bo uh, gri ri yeah, rift boss. Like a freaking... Like it was freaking nothing. But if that's an Immortal King... Ah, waste a second. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how you want to use this. Always have the everything activated. Use your fear shots right, and you will be good. Since you will be practicing a lot, uh, you will kind of know what what to do. And yeah, uh, hope you liked this video. And uh, wait, actually, I have to check before I go that I've covered everything because. I always forget something. The gems. There we go. The gems. You want to have Bane of the Stricken. Uh, which gives you more uh, damage against uh, bosses. Which is very good. And it gives, it gives you staggering damage. Which is kind of like. When you hit a mob one time. You get that percental damage increase. And if you hit it two times. It can get three percented. And the more you hit them. The more damage you deal over, uh, in time. So, bears are trapped, uh, increased damage against under enemies under control in panic staff. Put control in panic staff since it will be stunning and frozen, uh, freezing mobs, you will start dealing 3-3% increased damage against them. Uh, for the historic alteration over here, we have, yeah, it pretty much gives you survivability, very, very necessary because uh, elemental skills and fire, molten and air, all those real bad effects will kind of. Uh, be a pain in the ass and if you don't have this uh, historic alteration what this does yeah it gives you more damage reduction against those uh, effects that is it just says like res uh, cold fire lightning poison arcan so yeah it's very good try and level up these as much as possible and the more you level them up the more damage you will deal and survivability of course so i think i've covered all um i have to check actually because I always forget, okay? Sorry if I'm very bad at doing these build guys, but since I really want to show you guys stuff you can do on Diablo 3, it's very fun. If you have if you don't haven't played this game, you should try it out. It's a very it's a very addictive game actually. As soon as you're starting to get good at the game, like you start to do these high uh, torment uh, difficulties, you will find this game a lot more fun, okay? Um, so yeah, make sure to sh get that freaking vitality on the Dredas, because I will get one-shotted <laughs> else, okay? So yeah, this is gonna, that, this is it for this video, please subscribe and give a like if you enjoyed, make sure to uh, uh, check out any other video I have on my YouTube channel, I have a bunch of other build tutorials, uh, yeah, for different patches though, but yeah, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be for this video. Uh, yeah, <laughs> see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.